Here, guys, I got you in that. Scott Gruber embraces these little moments, catching frogs by the pond with his family, still recovering after the scare of his life Sunday morning. Yeah, I was right in there where everything's overgrown. I was trying to do some, uh, do some clean out. Scott disturbed what he thinks was a nest of bees while gardening. Within a minute and a half, I was on the ground and really couldn't move at all. Uh, and that's when the kids took over. County 911, where is your emergency? <laughs> My daddy did so. He almost passed out. Okay, what a dress. He got really dizzy. Okay. Is he is his breathing completely normal? Can you tell? Uh, a little bit. He's just breathing really hard. Is he changing color? Uh, no, he's just a tiny bit pale. Okay, I'm going to help you, okay? Just stay on the line with yes. me, okay? That's dispatcher Linda Safford trying to keep 10-year-old Zoe and 8-year-old Maya calm. Can you... My dad wants the phone. Okay, I'll talk to him. Oh, I think it's a bee sting. You think it's a bee sting? Yeah, I'm having a hard time breathing. Then came 30 seconds of silence. Are you still with me, sir? Hello? He's not responding anymore. It does kind of, you get it in the feels. It was really scary because I've never really called 911 before and I didn't know that I would ever have to. How much longer until we get here? Oh, only a few moments. They're here, they're here, they're here. I can't get adults to answer me as well as they did. They did a great job. They are heroes, those little girls. Saved their dad's life. That's what Scott's doctors told the girls. He would have died. He died if we didn't call 911 because he said it was we really saved. hard to breathe too. Scott has little memory of those 10 minutes, but his fitness belt. Uh, and then I just suddenly, right about there, completely went unconscious. Recorded his heart rate through the whole incident. The graph registers gray when he was barely breathing. Uh, unfortunately, it was, it was, uh, um, it was, you know, one of the most impressive things they ever did, but I was unconscious for a lot of it. I didn't, as a parent, I didn't even get to, uh, uh, didn't even get to see them in action. Scott and his wife, Stacy, a doctor herself who was at work, taught the girls how to call 911 a few years ago after watching a news story. They're thankful they listened. You never know as a parent if what you teach your children they're going to remember, especially in a time of emergency, but I'm amazed and very proud of them. Scott had no idea he was allergic to bees and is now growing his supply of EpiPens. Zoe is learning CPR next month, and both girls plan to teach classmates about 911 at school this fall, hoping others see how critical it is to stay calm and be prepared in emergencies. So we saved someone's life.